Welcome to Reef and Pond Wise. On this channel, we talk all about reef and pond related stuff. So if you love reef keeping and pond keeping like I do, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We just had a storm breeze through here very, very quickly. So today's video is how we handle overflow in our pond. So as you can see, the pond is completely down. We have no water flow at all. The power is out. So I'll be here very shortly getting out the generator if this uh, power doesn't come on you know quick enough so um, in terms of the water overflow when we engineered this pond we left a small opening uh, at the foot of that bridge on the other side closest to that fire pit now you'll see on this side of the pond it's fairly level and it's about a two and a half foot drop from this point here to that fence line and if you come follow me over here, I'll show you real quick. The water just flows from this part of the pond in this little opening here. And it goes right straight down towards that fence line. If you look, you can see the water is still moving towards the fence line as the incline will just take the water away from the pond. And you can also see that the other side of the pond is high enough where we're not losing any water and there's no water being held because of the level walkway that is over on the other side of the pond. So we're not losing any water except for right here. And that's exactly what we want, guys. And the reason why is because when we engineered this pond, you can see there's a main drain in the back corner of our yard that supports the whole neighborhood. And it is right there. And so the water will collect from all the yards and will slope into that drain and move away from our pond. And you can see the devastation from the storm. We lost uh, quite a few of these dead branches that were on this tree here. And these trees are a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, they just, uh, they, they, they lose a lot of limbs and, and tree uh, leaves and stuff all year round, especially when there's a storm. So. But they do serve a purpose after a certain time of the day because they do shade the pond after I get my six hours of sun beating down on the pond. So you can see the clouds. The storm is kind of still brewing. It's We're expecting more rain as we speak, so I gotta get moving. I just wanna show you guys a quick uh, informational, kind of educational uh, flow overflow mechanism that you can think about when you're building your pond. And you want to have something because if you don't have a low spot on the edge of your pond where the water can escape, you're going to lose water all over the place and then you're going to compromise the walls of your pond. So I just wanted to uh, show you guys that here's where ours is. It's, it literally is about the width between that main coping rock and there's another rock under this village here. And the water just will escape and anything that overflows will run right down to that fence line. So guys, if you found the video informational and educational, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, anyone can build a pond, but it takes someone special to keep one, and that someone special is you.